by Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki. As you guys know, I'm a big Robert Kiyosaki fan, but what's interesting about this book, I'm going to tell you a little story. I, I wasn't a Donald Trump fan because a lot of people have different opinions about him and all of the different things that he does. And I was one of those people too. I actually um, said, well, this is a guy that wants to make money on TV. And I like to make money too. But I just really, I, I didn't feel like I had anything in common with Donald Trump. But what was interesting, which is something that we can learn from too, Donald Trump knew that there was a lot of people like me who like Robert Kiyosaki, who's best-selling author in personal finance as well as just helping people to understand money a little bit better. Because like a lot of us, unless you had a family background that was really deep into understanding money, most of us you know, did the, the normal thing, going to school, get good grades, hope for the best. But unless your family was in finance or had something to do with that, most people that I've encountered, they just kind of do what everybody else does. So the inspiration for buying this book came from a previous book that Robert Kiyosaki and Donald Trump did called Why We Want You to Be Rich. And when I saw that book, actually Sherry showed me the book. I got it because I always liked Robert Kiyosaki stuff, but that title intrigued me. Why we want you to be rich. We all know Donald Trump is rich. He's a billionaire. And I knew that Robert Kiyosaki was a millionaire. But that title, I said, why do you want to be rich? That's very interesting. When in 2007, that's when I actually got the book. I read it, and it was very insightful. And it actually helped me to understand the perspective that Donald Trump has, because the things that are in his book are different than what he shows on TV. And a lot of times, that's something that I want to share too. Sometimes we see people's persona on the internet, but then the things that they share personally are a little bit different. And I know the masses of people see all of the stuff that he puts out on TV, on the internet, but the things that has actually driven him through the years, because he's actually been doing real estate since 1974. I was going over the book again to, um, yesterday. In 1974, he think he was 25 years old and that was an interesting thing to know because a lot of us don't know that he's been doing it that long and a lot of people that we see on the internet just like Robert Kiyosaki mentioned it too in this book people think that a lot of folks are overnight success but Robert Kiyosaki and Donald Trump had actually been cultivating their careers for over 30 years but they got a break where people can see them now the insights that I got from reading this book is the fact that Robert Kiyosaki and Donald Trump divided it into five chapters. I'm going to share what those five chapters are about. They actually use an illustration of five fingers, so it'll be easy for us to remember. And here's what the five fingers talk about. Number one, the thumb. The thumb stands for strength of character. Without it, entrepreneurs cannot withstand the failures and disappointments that come from creating something out of nothing. In fact, the book, The Midas Touch, that we, we have passing around, it's for entrepreneurs. And I'm going to tell you the difference between, from what they say, the difference between a business owner and an entrepreneur. Because when I was going over the book, I was like, hmm, a lot of us kind of think that they're the same. Business owner, small business owner, entrepreneur, people basically working for themselves. It's not. The number two, the index finger. The index finger stands for focus. Entrepreneurs must be must have the proper focus if we really want to succeed. Number three, the middle finger, or what they call the longest finger, is all about the brand, which reflects what you stand for. In fact, we talked about that last week with the Magic Johnson book. Everybody's really focusing on branding. Branding is probably more important than anything else. Number four, the ring finger is about relationships. That's one of the things that we're trying to do here, how to find a good partner, be a good partner, and build different types of relationships that will lead us to success. Number five, the little finger. The little finger is about the little things. And a lot of us think that we have to you know, really be conscious of the little things, but sometimes the little things is what makes a big difference in our lives, as well as the lives of our business. 
I think about um, a lot of you guys know I'm a, a fan of Apple stuff. Apple is one of the companies that I really enjoy because there's little meticulous things that the average person wouldn't think of doing, but they put that into their products, which makes them stand out above the crowd. So why is the book beneficial or practical for us as a group of entrepreneurs? The, the Midas Touch is practical for us because the book gives us insight on the difference between owning a business, working a business, or being an entrepreneur. They're not the same. I recommend the Midas Touch for everyone, including employees, people who have a job and they punch a clock, because it actually gives more insight on how that whole process works, because we've known people who pretty much work the job all their, all their lives, and when I talk to people like that, sometimes they don't think about the whole process that, that gets their paycheck. And so the book actually talks about that from the standpoint of being a business owner and entrepreneur, what it is that makes the end product for you to have a job. And the author's thoughts. Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki created the Midas Touch for entrepreneurs. And the main thing that they said with this book why it's different from all of their other business books is that really the job of an entrepreneur and all of us should be some kind of way to try to figure out how to create jobs. And that's what's really important. A lot of people have different debates on whose job it is to create jobs. I mean, whose duty it is to create jobs. Is it the government? Is it small business? Whose job is it? Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki says, us as business owners, if we're not the ones who actually are in position to be entrepreneurs to create jobs, maybe we need to partner with people who can do that. Because what happens is, if we have a great entrepreneurial idea, which is where most of the great things in America have come from, then we can actually, with that idea, help other people to achieve their dreams. One of the companies that, in closing, I like to talk about that really is good with that is Starbucks. Starbucks has a lot of employees, but one of the things that they're really known for is they will actually cultivate a person's dream that has nothing to do with Starbucks, actually help push them along to do whatever it is that they want to do. So that's what I wanted to share today, the Midas Touch. I hope that you guys don't just listen to this, but actually buy that book. I actually have the audio of it too, because a lot of us don't, you know, I'm not a just power reader, but as we're going back and forth doing our travels, you can get that book done in less than a week. I'm Randall Phillips with Great Day Coaching. Thank you.